This video is brought to you by Animation. If you want to lose your sanity, go into Animation and draw the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Hi everyone, this is Robert the Cozy Lion. I don't know if you know this, but I love 2D animated films. When I was a kid, my world was filled with 2D animated movies. You see, my parents were divorced when I was little, and whenever I was at either one's house, I would spend a majority of my time watching animated movies. For me, it was a great way to escape reality. And it was also a great way to keep me quiet for an hour and a half. Whether they were from Don Bluth, Warner Brothers, Steven Spielberg had an animation studio too. And they made that dinosaur And the gold standard. Mondo TV Productions! Who brought you such classics as, uh, The Legend of Titanic? And, no, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna waste my time, of course, it's Disney. You see, I grew up in the 90s, and Disney was the king of 2D animated films. Not only were they the best, but they were shooting out animated classics faster than you can say Hakuna Matata. At my mom's house, I had my own collection of VHS Disney movies. And no! They are not worth thousands of dollars! I tried. Anyways, I watched them on my little VHS player. And sometimes the tapes would get messed up after watching them so many times. And they would get tangled. Then you would have no choice but to stick your fingers inside to get the darn thing out. Without trying to get stuck. Might as well put your finger in a snapping turtle's mouth. The picture quality would look fuzzy, and there was a dialing sound that played at the beginning of my VHS tapes. I don't know what that's about. And the colors would look really dark. It gave you the shivers depending on the scene that was playing. But it was awesome! At home I would watch movies like Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, The Little Mermaid, Pocahontas, The Rescuers Down Under. Does anyone remember that one? And even The Brave Little Toaster. Which for those of you who have seen this movie, you know how f***ed up it is. There are a lot of weird and creepy moments in that movie. And then when I went to my dad's house, he would have cable. So I would go to Cartoon Network and watch Cartoon Theater, where they would air classic animated films from various studios. Movies like The Land Before Time, Balto, An American Tale, Cats Don't Dance, Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, ooh, Batman Mask of the Phantasm, basically Disney free. I was surprised and fascinated as a kid that Disney wasn't the only kid on the block making amazing 2D animated films. Thanks to Cartoon Theater, I was exposed to a wide range of animated films that had different styles and stories, and learned to appreciate the unique qualities of each studio's work. Animated films in 2D were a feast for the eyes. Each frame was a work of art in itself, with hand-drawn characters and environments that came to life. Not to mention the incredible attention to detail, from the subtle facial expressions to the intricate backgrounds. Like watching a painting come to life. I swear, I wanted to learn how to animate when I was little because of these amazing 2D animated films. But I gave up in like five minutes because it was like trying to solve a super hard puzzle with your eyes closed. Except the puzzle is your own imagination. And the pieces keep moving. And you have to keep drawing the same thing over and over and over and over. But for real, huge respect for animators. These artists are thinking more about the acting than the endless amount of drawings they have to do. The combination of artistry and technical skills they have are insane. They are responsible for bringing these characters and worlds to life, and do it in such a way that captivates and inspires audiences all around the world. They sure did for me. I can never do what they do, which is why I truly have the utmost respect for animators. Had to make sure I said that in the video. Love y'all! Ooh, my package is outside. Okay, good. This will be a great time for an ad break. I'll be right back. Hope the ad is decent. Back. Sorry, it was a false alarm. It was the neighbor's dog. He somehow learned how to ring the doorbell. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. And over 
And basically, these hand-drawn 2D animated films sparked my imagination, and I was mesmerized by the creativity and artistry of the animators. They brought a sense of wonder and magic into my life, and they inspired me to dream big and believe in the impossible. Huh, maybe that's why I'm trying to pursue YouTube ignoring the odds. I mean, look at me! Well, I may not be animated per se, because, you know, I'm cheap. But hey, if you look at me from the sides, it's just a line. Cool, right? Duty! Now, of course, not all hand-drawn movies were created equal. There were definitely some stinkers out there. I'm looking at you, troll in Central Park! But, you know, it was still possible to find some charm, even in the less-than-stellar ones. Then one day, I get a call from my cousin, and he says, Hey, there's this new animated movie that came out. And I know you like animation and stuff, so you should come check it out. And I was like, Okay. Well, we went to the movie theater that day to check out this Toy Story movie. At the time, I didn't know what to expect since I didn't see any trailers. Well, the movie started. Got a friend in me. One hour later. Oh, yeah, I was surprised as heck. And it was awesome. Holy cow, seeing Toy Story is one of my earliest memories I can think of when going to the theater. The characters, the story, the colors, the music, the designs all look so realistic for the most part. But most of all, the technology blew my mind as a kid. We couldn't believe what we just witnessed in the theater. So then we walked right back in the same theater to watch the next showing. Yep, true story. Then soon after that, more 3D animated films started coming out. And they were spectacular! Shrek, Finding Nemo, How to Train Your Dragon, Monsters, Inc., The Incredibles, Need I Say More. And the better 3D films got... The worst 2D animated films got. The ones I remember coming out were Teacher's Pet, Titan AE, Clifford's Really Big Movie, Treasure Planet, and Atlantis. Well, actually, those were okay at best. Home on the Range. Oh, come on! I remember seeing that movie in the theater, and I was so out of it. I'm guessing the popularity of 3D animation grew so much that studios and filmmakers may have been more willing to invest their resources into developing more compelling stories for their 3D films while putting less effort into the 2D ones. And before you know it, 2D animation became less apparent in the theaters. And you better believe I noticed! Huh. Where the heck are the hand-drawn animated movies? Nothing but 3D animated movies everywhere you went. New 2D animated movies were basically extinct at that point. They weren't making that. As impressive as 3D animation can be, after watching so many of them, the format just felt a little bit stale. It looked just like the last one I saw. I really do like 3D animation, don't get me wrong. But I didn't want only 3D animation. When it comes to- oh, wait. As I was saying. When it comes to creating great films, it's not just about the technology used to create them. The heart and soul of any great film lies in the story it tells and the characters it portrays. While it's true that 3D animation has opened up new possibilities for creating visually stunning worlds and lifelike characters, it's important to remember that technology is only a tool. It's the stories we tell with that tool that truly matters. To think that we should get rid of 2D animation and only focus on 3D animation is to ignore the many masterpieces that have been created in the 2D format. From the classic Disney films of the past, to the recent indie animated projects of today. There is a wealth of storytelling talent and artistic skill that has gone into creating these timeless works of art. In the end, the best way to create great films is to use all the tools at our disposal, including both 2D and 3D animation. By doing so, we can continue to create new and exciting worlds and tell stories that will captivate and inspire audiences for generations to come. I will be forever grateful for the memories that those hand-drawn movies gave me. They really did help me forget about my parents being divorced. They were a big part of my childhood, and they'll always hold a special place in my heart. Long live the magic. Long live the- No! So yeah, I wanted to reminisce about 2D animation since it was a big part of my childhood, and I miss them a little. For those of you who share this same love for the art form, I hope this video brought back fond memories. 
I have noticed companies like Cartoon Saloon are making 2D films within the past few years, so here is hoping more will follow in their footsteps. They are amazing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And share the video. That would mean the world to me. So thanks for watching. You're amazing. And I'll see you next time. You know, even though Disney doesn't make any more 2D animated films, they sure do like making live action adaptations of them. And, ugh, ah, don't get me started. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And you only have two minutes worth.